Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Suarez, and today we're going to review the anatomy of the face as it pertains to facelifting. Understanding the anatomy of the face is essential in order to grasp the differences between the different types of facelifts, as well as to avoid injury to critical structures such as the facial nerve. Fortunately, the anatomy of the human face is arranged into predefined layers that the surgeon can easily navigate in order to avoid complications. Let's begin. The human face has a very complex array of different structures within it, including the facial muscles of expression, fat compartments, important motor and sensory nerves, salivary glands, and many other structures. However, fortunately, these structures are organized into predetermined layers that the facelift surgeon can easily navigate in order to avoid injury to key structures. These layers include first the skin, then you have the underlying subcutaneous fat layer. This fat layer is responsible for giving you a smooth, youthful look to the human cheek. This fat layer is also divided into different compartments by the different ligaments of the face. Although the facelift does not address this layer, this is an important layer to remember because this is the target of most fillers that are placed in the cheek when we aim to volumize the cheek. Next, you have the most important layer, commonly known for its acronym, SMAS, standing for Superficial Musculoponeurotic System. The SMAS is a thick fibrous layer that immerses all of the superficial muscles of facial expression. The SMAS is essentially a unified layer that allows the face to move in a way that actually creates facial expressions. The SMAS is the primary target of a facelift surgeon, allowing the surgeon to manipulate the face and correct the drooping of the tissues of the face because the SMAS is thick and is able to maintain tension. Continuing along with the facial anatomy, we next have the layer below the SMAS. In this layer is where we start seeing the more critical structures of the face, including the deeper muscles of facial expression, and of course, the most important structure of the face, the facial nerve, which directs the motion of the face. Because the facial nerve lies deep to the SMAS, it can be easily kept out of harm's way during a facelift, allowing the surgeon to complete the facelift without compromising facial function. At this level, you also start seeing major salivary glands such as the parotid gland responsible for significant salivary production during eating. Going even deeper below this layer, we start seeing the deep fat pads. Then, lying below that layer, we have the facial skeleton, the bony base that supports all the soft tissue structures of the face that we have mentioned. So now that we have finished reviewing the superficial anatomy of the human face, especially the SMAS and how it pertains to facelifting, now we're ready to move on and discuss the different techniques in facelifting. In order to access that video segment, please click on the link provided. Thank you for watching Aesthetic Minutes, and I'll see you next time.